Leader Class Megatron! Yes, I finally got him! I ordered him off eBay on Thursday and he arrived on Saturday. That is the fastest shipping ever for me. That was just crazy quick. Um, but is he worth it? You will find out by the end of this review if I am pleased with this figure or very disappointed with this figure. So, give you a little 360 here. His color scheme is gray, red, and black. And with um, his face is silver. So, uh, pretty much it. Very simple. Very G1-ish here. He, uh, re he resembles G1 Megatron quite a bit. Um, his features, you know, you saw at the beginning were his lights and sounds. You push this button and he'll say some lines for you. He also has this um, good sized fusion cannon. It's not too big and it's not too small. It fits him perfect. So, and if you push the button, it will fire. So you just, you know, cock it back and it's ready to go. He also comes with the uh, these two swords here. You can put one in each hand. Just like that. Very cool. So size comparisons. Lockdown was my tallest figure, but as you can see, Megatron now has that honor. Not by a munch, maybe by an inch. Lockdown is actually quite a tall figure. But Megatron is also actually short for a leader class. You can see Leader Prime here just towers over him, if you can see. He's a good almost inch and a half taller than him. So, I mean... But, you know, not a big deal. I think it matches up well, you know, hit, uh, Megatron size matches up well, up well with uh, Voyager Prime here. He's not, you know, overly huge compared to uh, Voyager. You know, they match up pretty well even though uh, Megatron's probably about two inches taller than Prime. They still ma match up pretty well. So very cool, yes. Siri. Okay, um, I guess that's it. As I can show you the transformation now. What you want to do is you want to remove the fusion cannon here. Like so. Then you flip these panels up on his forearm. You fold the hands in. See? Fold them in like that. And you see this little uh, peg goes into the hole. If I can just get it to work. There we go. Now you take his feet, fold them down just like that. Take his um, shin pad shin panels here and kind of just um, force them up like this. Rotate them up like that, and then turn them around, like that. And do the same thing with this one. If I can. There we go. Just rotate it up. Turn it around. Then bring the feet together. Clip them together. And then take the panels, rotate them up, and then lock them into place right there. So, very cool so far. <sighs> now for the cockpit. You just rotate it up, you slide it. Right here it slides up, and then just work it in there. Once you have it in place, we'll make a transforming sound. You take the gun. You just gotta. Wow. There we go. I got it in there. As you can see, 
and you just set him down. His landing gear is all the way down, so you can just sit there for now. Take his swords, rotate the blades around, fold the handle in, hook it on. Same thing with this one. And just hook it on, and there you have it. Leader Class Megatron in his helicopter mode. As you can see, he's a, he's a pretty long fig figure here, so... Yep. Now his gun still works in this mode, you just push the button and it will fire the missile. Um, for his propellers, you rot start rotating one and the other one will go. As you can see, it's very cool. He has landing gear, plastic wheels, but like I said, landing gear really doesn't, it's not a big deal to me for a uh, aerial vehicle. You know, they don't have to be rubber wheels. They don't have to move, for goodness sake. So, and if you push the uh, Decepticon symbol down here, does make helicopter sounds so yes you know, his color scheme stays the same not much to say about this I mean it's a pretty simple old figure we've gone through all the features and whatnot one thing I wish it did was is when you push this button it would like rotate these as well while it's making the sounds but oh well it's um it's okay so my final thoughts on this figure, um, definitely a cool figure, um, he's definitely, for me, you know, if I was going to rank him, I, he would definitely be in my top five for Megatrons. Um, I wouldn't put him above Masterpiece Megatron, I wouldn't put him above Beast Wars Megatron, um, so, you know, he he's up there, I mean, he's a very cool figure, I'm very impressed, he's a much better Megatron than what we got last year, you know, for movie Megs. Um, I, I love his robot mode. I love how it resembles G1 with the face and the, you know, the whole just the color scheme and just the look of him. He, he really does resemble Generation One Megatron. I love the uh, alt mode. This helicopter is very cool. Um, so yes, I highly recommend this figure. If you see him, do not hesitate to pick him up because this will probably go. These Megatrons will go by really quick. So, yeah, get him if you see him. I give this figure a solid 10 out of 10, both, you know, robot mode boat and um, vehicle form. Solid 10 out of 10, very awesome figure. Jazz is still my favorite, though, out of the animated line. <laughs> still love Jazz. But, yes, Megatron. Animated leader class Megatron. You guys have a great day.